The 2023 TRD series is about to begin and I have to decide whether I'm gonna race in this Toyota or I drive this Toyota. So let me break down this decision because it actually really involves what I wanna do with both cars and what the TRD series is gonna be like next year. I've been competing with this car for the last two years in Enthusiast Class. The idea behind Enthusiast Class is it's the cheapest, most stock cars that people can bring to the track. The thing with allowing all Toyotas though is Toyota makes some very non-track ready cars. We've seen Corollas and Scion XBs in the series, but also Supras and Lexus RCFs. So the way they balance everything is with a point system. Each chassis starts with a point value, and every major mod also has a point value to it as well. You calculate up your total points, and that tells you what class you should be in. The rule for Enthusiast class was that you had to be below one point. Now for my FRS, that means that I can do very little modification because the chassis starts with zero points. The new GR86 is a one point chassis, so that's not allowed in Enthusiast class at all. The Yaris here starts with negative three points, which is why I've been able to modify it so much and still stay in Enthusiast class. But with all the modifications it has, I'm still now running up against that one point limit. In 2022, this had one point for all the weight reduction, one point for having wheels two inches wider than stock, and one point that encompassed all bolt-on engine modifications. The suspension mods on this are all one-way adjustable, and they don't count for a point until you get to two-way adjustable suspension. The tires are 200 Treadwear RS4s, and you don't really get a point for tires in the TRD series until you get into something like RT660s, which say they're 200 Treadwear, but really they're a lot stickier than most 200 Treadwear tires. There's also a limit to the overall width of tire you can run in Enthusiast class. So I can only run 225 tires front and rear. So to compete in Enthusiast class, this would have to be on 225 tires and I couldn't get RT660s. Running this in Enthusiast class means that I actually have more time to develop the Aris. I've been working on it as though it was gonna compete in Enthusiast class every month. So I've only had a little bit of time to have it up on jacks and I've had to build it within a certain spec. If I run the FRS in TRD series, it gives me more time to do more mods on this. And if I'm not building it to a class spec, that means that I can do whatever I want. Or at least that was my plan going into 2023. So here's the thing, plans have started to change. One of the biggest things is that the TRD series is changing. It's becoming the GR Movement Track Event Series. And that means a big shakeup and change to the rules. The other thing is they're not starting until the end of March. So I have a lot of time to put in some work to the Yaris, but I don't know what rules I'm building it to yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the stuff that I've wanted to to the Yaris and say to hell with the rules and land in whatever class I land in. This might be the year that we get an LSD or a new final drive or a 2ZR swap. Plus, there are some other big events going on this year that I can take the Yaris to. Gridlife is coming to the West Coast just like they did last year, and Club TR might be a great place for the Yaris to compete. To be in there though, I need to run Falcon RT660s. It's literally a spec tire for the class. So, I can compete with them at Streets of Willow and at Laguna Seca, which would be a big step for the Yaris because of the level of competition at events like Gridlife. There's also Corner Exit Autocross. I did one event with them last year up at Big Bear, but they have a whole competitive season going on and they have these events going on at Apple Valley Speedway that I really wanna try out. So in a given year, I take the Yaris out to four or five events. This year, I'm gonna try for 10. The Yaris is getting closer and closer to being nailed down, and it's getting faster and faster each time. So I hopefully have the time to take it to more events. But the thing is, we've been playing fast and loose with some of the parts on this car. So if anything breaks, I might be out of contention in any of these series. So we've gotta do some upgrades to get it faster, but we've also gotta do some things for reliability. Basically what I'm saying is 2023 is going to be an absolute jam-packed year for the Yaris and I'm gonna make videos out of every single one of these events. So stick around, stay tuned for those, and uh, all the added parts that go onto the Yaris, 
I'll be making videos of those as well. Some of them are quick and easy. Some of them are really in depth. I'm excited to show you guys what is in store for the little panda. If you haven't already subscribed, the name of the channel has officially changed. Uh, and the Instagram is now the same as well. So it's all Rasul Racing across everything. It's gonna make everything uh, make a little more sense. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a cool panda logo. So check that out. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, like all the other videos. Go back and just click like on every single one. Go to the Instagram, click like on every single one of those posts. You know, you're honestly helping out if you do that. I'm not even kidding. It does actually help. I know that sounds like a thing that YouTubers just say, but uh, no, it, it really does help. So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, you guys, honestly, there have been times that I've wanted to give up on the Yaris and move on uh, to a different car or, you know, track the car less or, you know, just not put in work. And the amount of passion that you guys have shown in the comments and love for a little Econo box uh, going out to the track has made me continue forward with it. So that's what we're gonna do this year. It's gonna become an absolute riot. Or it's gonna break. We'll see. And if when it finally comes back, that charger. What's that one? Uh, is it VQ? series is fun, but it's not the only...